Hi everyone, today I will show you how to use Frequency Separation Plugin with Photoshop Actions. I hope you already know that there's a free plugin for frequency separation that allows you to create layers with different frequencies in Photoshop. However, everybody uses their own structure of layers, so it is helpful to use an action to create additional or auxiliary layers. First, I will show how to record an action. I will undo frequency separation and in the action panel, I will create a new action. I will name it frequency separation group and will start recording. It is good to have your image with all the layers merged to make the action more universal. The best way to do this is to create a new empty layer and then hit Control, Alt, Shift, D. This will create a layer that merges all the visible layers. Now I will launch the Frequency Separation plugin. Make sure you check the Make Layers box so that the plugin creates three layers for different frequencies. And then hit Apply. When the action is being recorded, make sure you do not click on any of the layers. If you do, this will be recorded as a switch between layers by name. And there's a chance there's either no layer with such name, or that there actually is a layer with such name somewhere else within the project. To make the action universal, I will do most of it using the keyboard. So, what does the layer structure normally look like? Most people duplicate the high frequency layer. Put it above the original one by pressing Ctrl J. Then change blending mode to normal and apply a clipping mask. This way you will always have a copy of the original high frequency layer and will be able to either discard all changes that have been made or to turn it off to see what the image looked like before. You can also create a layer to increase sharpness with brightness contrast in the legacy mode. I will also switch it to the clipping mask mode. To do that, I hold down the Alt key and click between the layers. Okay, we're done with the high frequency layer and now I need to switch to the medium frequency one. To do that, I hold down Alt and press the left square bracket. Now I'm on the lower layer and the action recorded it as select backward layer three times. No names were attributed to the layers here so the action won't have any unexpected glitches. The medium frequency layer is used mostly to erase things, so I will just create a clipping mask and will move on to the low frequency layer by hitting Alt left square bracket. When working with the low frequency layer, you can do it without a clipping mask, so I will just copy it. Now all the layers are ready and we need to group them. I press Alt left square bracket to go to the low frequency layer. Then I press Alt shift right square bracket to select multiple layers. I selected all the new layers and now I press Ctrl G to make a group. Let's rename it to Frequency Separation. And that's it. The action has been recorded and I can hit stop. Let's now see how it works. I delete the group, go back to the first step in the action and press play. I see that everything went wrong. This happened because Photoshop doesn't create new layers from the plugin. And to create new layers, a hack is used. However, it won't work in actions. In order to resolve this issue, we came up with a new hack. Let me discard all the changes. To fix this, I need to put the cursor on the frequency separation plugin. Hit record button and then in the file menu, go to automate and select retouch for me FS automation. This command creates new layers for the frequency separation. Now we can stop recording, discard all the changes again and launch the fixed action. Done. Now I have a group with the entire frequency separation structure. In order for me to tweak settings every time I launch the action, right here, to the left of the plugin, I can turn on the dialog mode. Then every time I am launching frequency separation, this window will pop up where I can choose required frequencies, select a filter mode, and the frequency separation will be done in accordance with my settings. As you can see, because I was only using the keyboard, I could easily launch the action twice. There are layers with similar names here, but no issues occurred. This is it for now. Thank you for watching and good luck with retouching. Bye bye.